Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. Good morning. It's Monday and I am waiting for quite a few packages today. And in general, because I entered a few like online art convention competitions, like anime convention art competitions, that's the word. And I won all of them, so they're sending me the prizes via mail. But most importantly, I'm waiting on a package from China, which is my washi tape design. So those should arrive in the next hour or so. So I'll get to unboxing that in a second. For this entire studio vlog, I apologize if you will hear construction noises in the background. I'm trying to make my mic settings not pick them up, but my window is open and I have a construction site right outside my window. So I think that's all I need to say. Now, apologies to that, and let's get to unboxing this washi tape as soon as it gets here. Enjoy this studio vlog. I have a lot to get through. So I have my box right here. It just arrived with FedEx. Get my knife ready. And it's my washi tape. They sent it off pretty much exactly a uh, week ago sorry talking and cutting I and mean, then unboxing it on camera so let's see what it looks like there's so much of it okay the way it looks like is they sent me some samples of like their stamp tape and their effect tape and then we have these are 50 of the daruma design 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 28, 42, and 8. Yep, 50 of the Daruma design. Then we have 50 of my like Japanese crane design, 50 of the Spirited Away no face design and then these two aren't my tapes but i'll quickly give a shout out this is by sunflower gnome and it's like a celestial mushroom tape it's at sunflower gnome on instagram you can check his out art out there and then these are by genie snee and they're like a witchy yeah witchy tape is the label we did like a group order because we could split shipping that way so i put these to the side and get the small rolls and unbox these because then I don't need to open the big packages. So let's just... So here I am, here are... Oops, of course now I just dropped them everywhere, the small towers. So to show you close up, this is the... It's still not in focus, is it? The Spring in Japan tape, still wrapped. Really, really pretty. Then we have the Spirited Away tape. I decided to only do one fan art tape because I am trying to move more towards original art. And then, of course, everybody's favorite, it seems like. Hello, yes, the Daruma, the Rainbow Daruma, which is really, really bright. So let's just put these to the side over here. And I did take off the plastic. It is unfortunate that they're all wrapped in plastic individually. I probably asked them to change that for next time. But let's just do a... So here we have the first tape I just swatched. This is the roll for it. It's 10 meters and I think it turned out really, really nice. They tried to talk me into like brightening it and making it quite neon, but I really like the pastel texture and color that it has. Not pastel, but like these more muted earth tones. Now we have the second roll, which is the no face and soot ball tape. And here is that. I also really like how this one turned out. I also think it's not too dark. They were very worried about that, but I really like more muted dark tapes. And finally, we have this tape and what's a bit unfortunate 
is that they're kind of upside down so the tape tears like this like in that direction but they face the other direction i didn't know which way they do that so next time i just turn it around but i mean for a small little swatch it's not really a problem at all i really like the way the colors turned out as well so yeah these are my three new tape designs i'll photograph them in a bit and they are removable they're not as sticky as some of my tapes i mean they're pretty much right in the middle there with like stickiness this one actually seems to be a bit more sticky probably because i held this one in my hand longer but they hold nicely they're removable so it's great for bullet journaling and i'm really really happy with the way they turned out so now here we have all of the samples that they sent with me they also sent like a package of stickers and the gold foil stickers holographic stickers but what we have at the real top what you can see at the bottom here is like a clear ta plastic tape with a green foil then this is a paper tape with gold foil and the gold doesn't flake or anything it looks quite nice then we have a fuck off well shit ugh coffee silver foil tape which isn't the prettiest but it shows how the silver works this is the absolute worst it's a uh, like a decal tape where you can like kind of peel off individual stickers and it's on a roll only that as soon as you try peeling them off they kind of rip apart and don't come off properly and fold but they have like motivational sayings and pretty pastel colors this is a tape i actually really was excited to see it's a stamp tape plus it's also silver foil and you can kind of like see that they have like serrated edges where you can just rip them apart and have individual stickers but also use them as a roll so like an individual stamp like this and then these three are disney in blue and um red foil and this one has silver foil i'm guessing they're official merch i'm not quite sure it is a big washi tape manufacturing company i ordered from so it would make sense but i just peel these off again and put them into my washi tape drawer so that when i might order more tape in the future i can see what the effect would end up looking like and again this is also a great test to see how easily the paper is removable and it doesn't leave any sticky residue it is on the weaker side of stickiness so they're not like super strong tape but i think that's great for bullet journaling and things like that where you don't want to ruin the paper so yeah that's the samples i got yep and as you can see the plastic tape does lose a lot of stickiness and becomes like weaker actually looks really interesting on the roll this really dense pattern and you see it's actually only just mickey mouse heads and then this one but then again on the inside here we have my tapes and i'm really happy with them and i think the design holds up and looks really cute so probably gonna make more in the future but today i still need to take nice product shots of them and put them up the shop update will probably be sometime next week probably may 1st since i had one april 1st i might do monthly shop updates for the time being. See you in a bit. You call me up, say that you've been busy, but something made you just reach out. And we meet up, we tell each other stories about how we've been since we last talked. Our coffee day moves into the evening, we wonder how it got so late. We walk around and I keep asking how I don't know better by now Ooh, I could try but you can't shake me I think we're going crazy Keep saying that we're through But baby I'm not over you We're quick to go attack But when we split I need you back And I tell myself we're through But baby I'm not over you You're the one it's gotta be I'm not quite sure where my last clip ended in what i filmed so far but a new package just arrived from the uk i seem like i'm trying every single 
mail delivery service. I had a FedEx package, a, a DPD package, a DHL package, and now a GLS package because I ordered many different things from many different places. And it's a really good thing that this came because I'm not sure if I already showed these in my last, like yesterday I created these Daruma sticker sheets. They are planners and they match like the Daruma rainbow washi tape. You can also get them at L set. I put up the listings. I think I filmed that part. But what I also created was a sticker sheet and this is what happened. I think I filmed a TikTok of my shock because I forgot to change the cut settings for the inner part. The outer part was properly cut and then the inner part was the default setting and not the like sticker cutting setting, which means it cut through. So instead of having a sticker sheet, I now have like a pile of individual small rectangles. I put these in as freebies in all the orders and use them to decorate my envelope. So it's not a huge loss. But I was really frustrated when that happened because I only have one or two A4 sheets of sticker paper left in total. I ran through a hundred sheets. I think I ordered the sticker paper in Studio Vlog number three. So you can look back at how quickly I went through all of this paper. But this is my new order. So let's open this package up. In down, here we are. And again, this was ordered from online labels in the UK. I just quickly take out all the receipt stuff that has my name on it. And we have a hundred sheets of weatherproof matte white and a hundred sheets of... Is this what I ordered? I don't think this is what I had ordered. I'll have to check because this is removable matte white. And I think I just ordered the, the regular, like the paper ones and not the removable ones. Okay, I will figure this out, but at least now I have enough paper to continue with my shop update so that when people actually order something we have paper for them to get. They're also packaged differently which is weird. This one is in like a transparent sleeve and this one is in a, a white sleeve. This is definitely a different type of paper. It'll be fine, I'll check this and I'll check in with you later. But I finally have sticker paper again. Now I'm just waiting on a few other orders. Mainly it's not orders, mainly it's things I won and I don't actually know what I'm getting. So I just have um, prizes that I still need to see what they are. But yeah, time to get more sticker making done. I have a new stamp design because those have been going really well. And then I'm ready for my shop update, which will be in three days on, on Saturday that soon people can finally get the washi tape. I will show you, I have moved them. They are now in these three bins that are in my cart. This doesn't go in here, put this on top. But here we have the chimes and then pins are over here. Then washi tape are in these three little boxes. There's I think like 15 in each and the rest are in a drawer somewhere around the corner and at the bottom is my packaging supply. And in here, as always, are prints and over here is just new stuff I haven't sorted yet. But yeah, that's it for now. Can you see me? Yes, perfect. And I'll get some work done. I have uni homework I've been avoiding. I'm happy these came. Now I can pretend I'm doing stickers instead of uni work. Why am I like this? I had homework due yesterday. <laughs> Anyways. Place where you first 
Hi. Okay, first of all, my hair is blue now. Time for a change. But second of all, I got even more mail. So I'm not quite sure if I showed it, but yesterday my new... Yeah, I did film it. My new sticker paper arrived, the online label sticker paper. Now I got another box from the Austrian Post, which is one of the prizes I won in the art competitions I entered. This was from the Harukon, which is a convention which is normally in the west of Austria, but this time was online and they had a competition where the theme was to paint something with the four elements included. And I did this illustration here based on a few um, Kuniyoshi paintings. And I cut open the box just before starting to record because I realized with my nails and the way this was taped, it took me a while. So good thing I did that. But let's see what we have in here as prizes. The first prize is this little cute Omamori. And I'm not quite sure which show this is from. I don't recognize the character, but it's really cute. Then we have a small Nintendo enamel pin with the three starters from Sword and Shield. So Score Bunny is the one that I used when I played the game. We have an acrylic anime standee. I'm not sure who this character is either. We have another enamel pin, actually two more Nintendo enamel pins, one Luigi's Mansion, which is broken. Gonna glue that together again, the little pinback fell off, I see. And one is from, I think, Link's Awakening. It's a, definitely one of the links. There's some more stuff in here. We have some mochi rolls. I was about to say I can't read these, but I'm pretty sure this is Chinese. So my Japanese skills wouldn't help, but some mochi rolls. Then we have, this is cute, an officially licensed Alice in Wonderland bag. And of course, oh, there's more than just the certificate. I have to say, of course, a certificate that I won, but it also includes one little voucher for um, Chibi Neko, which is in Klagenfurt. I hope they have an online shop um, to get um, 50 euros of anime merch, I'm guessing. I've never actually been there. So that's what I won. And I really, I turned the illustration I did into postcards, which will also launch in my shop update tomorrow. So I can't wait for that. And now I have to get ready for some uni stuff because I have an exam in less than an hour. So time to still study some Japanese. See you in a bit. You call me up, say that you've been busy, but something made your chest reach out. And we meet up, we tell each other stories about how we've been since we last talked. Our coffee day moves into the evening. We wonder how it got so late. We walk around. Keep asking how I don't know better by now Ooh, I could try but you can't shake me I think we're going crazy Keep saying that we're through But baby, I'm not over you We're quick to go attack But when we split, I need you back And I tell myself we're through But baby, I'm not over you A timer just went off on my phone, which means it is five minutes to shop update and the nine new listings are ready. I'm also, where is it, relaunching this Japanese dango pin because I realized it wasn't in my store anymore. Can't remember why I took it off, but I still have a few left, so I'm relaunching that. I'm, of course, launching the free rolls of washi tape. You've seen a lot of in this video. You also just saw me have my setup actually right here on this desk for some stop motion animations and little teasers for Instagram and TikTok. And then I have the new Japanese stamp sticker sheet, uh, the like, Ghibli anime character object sticker sheet. I have the 
Daruma planner sticker sheet, which you can also get in a bundle with the tape. And then I have the four elements postcard and A5 print and the two like cats in spring kimonos postcard and A5 print. Those are both each one listing where you can like choose the size. And I'm excited. So ooh, I've already been talking for two minutes. Time to get this ready and then in three minutes it'll all be posted and ready and I actually also got an order yesterday for three postcards but since today is May 1st a it's Saturday and b it's Austria's national holiday so the post office is closed anyway which means everything that gets ordered today and tomorrow I can ship out on Monday into like one big packing video and then if everything goes well this video will go up on Monday and then I'll still get to include some of that. So yeah, excited, ready to launch these products. And I also got an update from my pin manufacturer on Alibaba saying that the mold is ready and they're getting ready to do the coloring on the pin so that I can see if it looks good and if everything works properly so that I can have them manufactured. I'm doing 50 of the Tango design and once those are ready they'll be here. Let's quickly finish that sentence. The audio is worse now because my camera died. I have to charge it over here. But yeah, my pins are ready for coloring and they'll be shipped to me soon so I have another shop update. Hopefully June 1st I have like some more pride stickers and maybe the pin and if not I'll do it in July because I really like these monthly shop updates on the first of each month and I keep those going. So yeah, ooh, time to sh publish the listings.